Stephanie, uh, just give us an update on what happened today in court. Well, today in court was largely a procedural session where they read out the charges to him, the 10 counts of war crimes and crimes against humanity, and Thatchi spoke very briefly to say that he pleaded not guilty and that the indictment was completely without any basis. I mean, this is a stunning downfall for Thatchi, but does he retain some support at home? How is this trial being received in Kosovo? Well, absolutely, he remain, uh, He keeps his support at home. Uh, as a, a former KLA commander, he is still seen as a war hero, and in general, Kosovo Albanians see the fact that they had to have this tribunal kind of exclusively for former KLA fighters at the insistence of the EU as extremely biased and very, very unjust. So uh, he still enjoys large support, and he's largely seen as kind of the liberator of Kosovo, and that remains still. And Stephanie, looking ahead, what is expected to come next in this trial? Well, his lawyers have already said today that they plan to file for uh, interim release and say that it was unnecessary to have Hashim Sachi arrested and transferred to the court because he's willing to cooperate and show up in the court as he did uh, before. So the next move for the lawyers will be uh, requesting interim release. Journalist Stephanie Vandenberg giving us an update from The Hague. Thank you so much.